welcome to my Sonic Advance 3 walkthrough. Let's just start the game right away. I'm not going to do anything really special for this one. It's just going to be a stage run because in order to show all the characters that I unlocked and stuff like that, I would have to restart my whole game and I do not want to do that because I would ha have to do everything over and that would suck very, very much. <laughs> So let's just uh, start with zone one here, and uh, yeah, the first ring is right here. Yeah, this is a stage ring. By the way, you can pick these guys up by pressing up. This is an act ring. This will take you to an action raptor, or wax one through three. Yeah, whatever. They don't really say things much different. They aren't very interesting in the very least. But anyway, let's start. Uh, let's just show some of the controls. You know, A, bu a and B button to jump and stuff like that. The B button for uh, roll. Oh, actually, that would be the A button on this GameCube controller, wouldn't it? <laughs> Since I'm playing this on a, vi a vi virtual, I was gonna say Visual Boy Advance, but it's a Game Boy player for the GameCube. Uh, when you hold the R button, your partner character will flash like that, and then you'll get your team attack like that. Woohoo! Look at that! Yeah, that's how you do your team uh, team attacks or team moves. There's uh, like five different teams in the game. I don't plan on showing those either. It, there's only like five of them and they don't really do anything all that special or game breaking I'm I, you know I'm just a classic Sonic player so to speak so let's just get this going you know how Sonic plays you've seen me do it before hold down and press the jump button the spin dash all that good stuff like that give me my platform yeah those switches make those platforms appear temporarily for a short amount of time but ah what the heck was that that was just the most cheaply placed spikes ever <laughs> But actually, I uh, that wasn't that cheap. I had oh shoot, <laughs> that was my bad. I actually had time to react for that one. That was just completely my bad there, and uh, I had plenty of time to react. Like only I failed again. But uh, uh, this game actually has legitimate difficulty, not like the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean Sonic Advance 2 difficulty. That was just completely unfair all over the place. Well, okay, maybe it wasn't completely unfair, but the reaction time that they expected you to do things was just plain old stupid. <laughs> oh, this one falls, doesn't it? Yeah, I forgot about that. I, I realized that as it was falling, and then I remembered that part of the stage. But I'm off to a great start in this walkthrough, aren't I? <laughs> and, uh, okay. I knew there were spikes there, so I took it nice and slow there. And bouncy, 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 okay. <laughs> ah, what the heck? Okay, that was an ambush. Crap, it's a trap. <laughs> oh, wait. And if you spin on these things, and like platforms appear like that, and you can kind of grab these things like that, and there you go. Woo! Remember, you're better off taking the upper paths in Sonic games because down is death. <laughs> and that was a lamppost that I missed, wasn't it? Oh, well, I just gotta hope I don't die. <laughs> and, you know, that's kind of a hard thing for me to do lately. <laughs> Anyway, if you didn't see, I had a stream yesterday night, and uh, it went pretty well, I gotta say, actually, for my first stream. I was quite surprised. A lot of people liked it, but there was one thing that absolutely sucked and I feel horrible about. I said in my uh, video that I was going to record it. Well, I tried recording it, but it did not record. It turns out that you have to go and, uh, after you want to stop the recording, you can't just, like, close the window or... Um, you just can't press stop recording. It's not as simple as that. You actually have to stop the recording, then save the recording. Otherwise, it doesn't save, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever from a recording point of view, because when you record something, it should save automatically, and then you choose if you want to keep it or not in your video. So what, that, that made absolutely no sense. So I, I lost, like, maybe a good... Two and a half, three hours of Zelda. Ow! Zelda Link to the Past footage. Yeah, I played through the first three dungeons of Zelda Link to the Past. Oh, that, that's one of those. It springs. Ow! Springs me higher and higher. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go this way. But yeah, I lost a lot of footage and I felt horrible. <laughs> But there's nothing I can do about it. But the people that came had a lot of fun, and I, I probably will have another stream one of these days. I don't know. I just don't want to have any more of those kinds of mistakes, you know, because that's a lot of uh, footage to lose. Oh, there's my platform. I was wondering where the heck it was. And spin, spin, spin. Hey, wh why does that? Why is that going up? Uh, can I climb these? Like, yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. You can climb them like that. You can go through them. Ooh, and it should be up there. Spring. Yep. Ooh. 
and yeah, drop, oh boy, yeah, jump down blindly, okay, that was not really up blind, but woo, Sonic 2, yeah, those things remind me of Sonic 2's where they were first, you know, Sonic 2 where they were invented, oh, and by the way, as before, you can press the R button to do tricks in midair, I forgot to mention that as well, <laughs> But whatever, you pretty much know the controls if you've seen my other walkthroughs, so it's not really much of a big deal. The thing uh, that's different oh, about this Sonic game than the other ones is that tag attack thing. Oh, come on. I was standing right on the edge. <laughs> there we go. Give me some rings. There we go. <laughs> and I'm nearing the end of the stage, if I'm not mistaken. Woo! And... This way! Yeah, no, okay. Oh, no, I want the... Oh, I want that lamppost! I can't go back down. That was mean of you. <laughs> And it spins, spins, yep. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is a much longer Sonic game than usual. You know, it's uh, 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 pretty dang long for a Sonic game. You know, a 2D Sonic game, usually 2D Sonic games I could finish in one day, but this one might take me two or three days, actually. It's that long of a game, which is actually pretty cool, then, because I really get to work on a Sonic game for more than one day. <laughs> and woo! Oh yeah, I gotta love the loops! So in case you didn't realize, this is kind of based off of the Sonic Adventure series because it's Route 99, which was a place in uh, the Sonic Adventure series. Woohoo! I think it was Sonic Adventure 2, if I'm not mistaken, where you're driving a car with tails racing the traffic and... Or I should say trying to catch up to Eggman, if I'm not mistaken. Well, anyway... <laughs> Next stage! Whoa! Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> And there we go, it's the Act 3 coming up, and down we go! Woo! On the grind rail! That's a big improvement in this game compared to other Sonic Advance games, is that you can grind on any part of the rail, so if the rail is angled, you can actually land on it instead of falling right through it. They finally realized their mistake after two games. <laughs> yeah, they had it in Sonic Advance 2, right? That stupid rail grinding system? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. Unless I'm thinking of Sonic Advance 1, but I don't think I am. Oh, by the way, that's a Chow. Yeah, you're supposed to find Chow in levels. I forgot what they do, though. It's been such a long time. But that that's another reason why I'm not resetting my game, because I haven't... Uh, I, I, I am looking for the Chow myself and haven't finished, uh, haven't found all of them yet, and this part is coming to an end. So, yeah, I don't want to restart my game because I want to keep the Chow I have. So I guess I will see you guys in the next